Hi everyone, it's Nono here, and this is a tutorial on how to create a WebSocket server with TypeScript. We're going to use the WS NPM package, and then later you can expect another separate video doing exactly the same thing, but to create a client instead of a server. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is select the location where we want to place our experiment. I'm gonna create a folder called WebSockets Server TS for TypeScript, and I'm gonna access it. Then I'm gonna run the shortcut code dot to open this folder into Visual Studio Code. You can see that the folder is empty. We can press Control and the back tick to bring another terminal in here so we can be working on the terminal right inside of Visual Studio Code. All right, now we need to create an npm package or model in this folder, which we'll do by running npm in it. And then that's why that basically says use the default values. You can see that these are pre-filled values of our package.json file. That is the only file that we have right now on this folder. And now we have to install things. As I said, we're going to install and save the WS library. And then we'll do the same, but for our development dependencies. Those are going to be npm install, save dev, and we're going to install TypeScript. We're going to install the types for Node so we can code in TypeScript, and also the types for WS, that is the library that we're going to be used, and we want to have autocomplete as we're coding. So these packages resolve, we have added it three packages, and now we can go to our package.json file and see what we've installed. We have WS as a dependency and then the three packages that we installed as development dependencies. You might realize that we're missing something. If we're using TypeScript, we need a tsconfig file. For that, we can do tsc init, which will create a default tsconfig.json file pre-configured for us and that we can customize and uh, set many different options for. We're going to leave it as it is for now. And in here, we're just going to create a new file that is going to be called server.ts. This is our server logic is going to go here. And just to see that we can run TypeScript, I'm going to write here console log and we're going to do here hello WebSockets. And we're going to try running that from our terminal. So I save this file and then I do ts node server.ts. You can see that this has output properly the console log. Note that I'm using ts node. This is a TypeScript version of node. Whereas you can do node index.js, for example, for running JavaScript scripts. Here we do ts node index.ts or in this case, server.ts. All right, so now we're going to add in the logic that makes WebSocket server. We'll call it the same way, ts node server.ts, but we need some logic that basically loads the library, instantiates our WebSocket client, and defines the behavior when clients connect and when other events happen. I'm going to grab an example here that we have prepared that uses code from npnjs.com, the package WS, right? The package that we're going to be using. And this example is going to start a WebSocket server. We'll create later another video for creating a WebSocket client that can connect to this server. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to import WebSocket server from WS. And you can see that many of these things autocomplete. We're going to define our port that for me now is going to be 1234. And we're going to create a new WebSocket server that is going to be that WebSocket server object, and we're going to pass in the port to it. Here, we could say uh, to the user where we're listening. We're listening at that port, and in here, we need to define WebSocket server behavior. So what happens when different events occur? So we can try running this, so ts node server.ts, so the server would keep waiting for us, but there's no behavior that we've defined. So what would happen here, what we want to happen is that on a new connection, we're going to receive a WebSocket client, and then we'll have a handler function here. So this method handles new connections. And we can say that when this WebSocket 
sends a message, we're going to do something with that data. So for example, we can print it and we could also send a new message when a new client connects. Hello, this is server.ts. And here we could actually format this saying received message from client. All right, you can see that this still runs. And the only thing we need now is some code to get a client to connect and see if this works. So I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump in time because we're going to do the client tutorial and I'll run this server and we'll try with the client. But there will be another video that will let you know how to actually write the code for that client. So here I do TS node client.ts and let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. All right. So you see that magic that happened there? I clicked here on TS node client. The client told us that it connected. So that means that this open um, handler got triggered, right? So it opened a connection. So it actually printed this client connected and then it sent this, hi, this is a client message. The server then said, okay, I received a message from a client which says, hi, this is a client, which is this message. And then the client actually received a message from the server that says, hello, this is server.ts. Okay, so that was a summary of how you can write a WebSocket server with TypeScript in the WSMPM package and how you can execute it locally with TS Node. Please uh, go ahead and watch the next video if you want to know how to create a WebSocket client with the same library and connect it as we showed in the example. Feel free to like the video if you want to support the work that I'm doing here and to subscribe if you're going to get notified when there are new playlists, new videos, or when I go live next. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.